So hello and welcome to the computer lab. So in this video, I'm going to be doing two videos on this particular product. And in this video, I'm going to be looking at the hardware made by a company called N Genius. I'm going to be looking at the Sky Key One and also the EAP 1250, both manufactured by N Genius. This is the N Turbo uh, access point, the uh, Wi-Fi access point. Uh, and just in the interest of honesty and clarity, I am not being paid by N Genius to produce this video. Uh, however, I have been I have been sent these free of charge uh, to have a look at and just see how they compare. Um, I normally use Unify Ubiquita products, but uh, I believe this company has been around uh, longer. I think it's been around about 20 years, where Unify is probably about 15 years. I'm sure if I'm wrong, somebody can correct me in the comments below. Uh, but um, it looks very much like a competing product. So um, I thought it would be good to do a video on these and just have a look and see what you get. So like I say, I'm just going to be looking at the hardware for this um, particular video. And in the second video of this series, I will look at the software um, that these products use uh, and also look at ease of use and how it compares to, like I say, the Unify uh, products. Um, also, uh, if I can find something around here, just to give you an idea um, what these sort of compare to in the Unify range. So the Unify equivalents are this type of product. So that's the uh, Ingenious Sky Key One, as you can see on the side of the box there. Uh, so that's the Sky Key One. Uh, this is the ubiquitous stuff, the Unify products that are the equivalent. So this is sort of the access point uh, that is similar in the range. This is the Unify Ubiquita. Uh, this one is the APAC LR, the long range. Um, if I find the other box, there is another box here. This one which is not a lot on the box actually, Well, this is a Unify uh, APAC Pro. Uh, so this is the type of thing that this is, um, just pull that back down, that this is sort of aimed at. The Cloud Key, this one here is the uh, Unify Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. Uh, this one has the hard drive built in, whereas this Sky Key one doesn't have a hard drive built in, but Unify or Ubiquita do offer an equivalent uh, control key for managing the network. It's just that this one has the hard drive and a screen on it, uh, but they do do a smaller version similar to this. So they're the sort of competing products what these two are competing for. Or should I say competing against. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to look at the hardware in this video, see what you get in the box, see how they mount, uh, maybe just have a quick rundown on the spec of these, um, these products. Uh, and then, like I say, in the second video, we will do the, um, the software side of it. Okay, so low where to start. Let's look at the Sky Key first. We'll just put that to one side and let's have a look at what you get for your Sky Key in the box. So I have already had these open uh, and they've been on the bench tested. Uh, so I do know what we're getting here, but let's get the thing open. So you get the manual. Not quite as well packaged as the Unify stuff, I've got to say, but I've got to try and not compare it too much, but they are comparable products, so, uh, but yeah, they're not quite as well uh, packaged. So this is the Sky Key itself. It has a small power uh, input DC jack, a little reset switch, and a micro SD slot. Um, this is to back up your uh, configuration files. So once you've got the network configured, then this is there to actually uh, backup data too. I don't know if you can record any of the camera software to it. Uh, I haven't tried that side because I haven't got a camera to test with it. Uh, but um, I do know it. you can uh, back up the configuration files to it. And they do offer the switches and the cameras pretty much like Unify do. On the other side you have two RJ45 ports. One's the PoE which I'm going to be using um, to test it. Uh, and then you have uh, obviously a LAN 2 as well. And both of these run at uh, 10 uh, slash 100 slash 1000. So they're both quick um, one gigabit, one gigabit uh, ports. Uh, and on the back, you've got the um, two mounting points so you can hook it onto a wall. And one of the interesting things as well, this does have a magnet built in. Uh, so if you've got a switch, which I might have one knocking around somewhere. Yeah, so if you've got a, a switch in a rack, say it's a, this is an old Netgear one. But say you've got a switch there and you want to 
it just sticks on uh, as the magnetic so it stops it falling off so in theory you could have that in the inner comms cabinet and then stick it underneath and then it'd be underneath the actual uh, stuck on hidden out of the way uh, so that's quite nice and quite a nice way to mount it because obviously if you're mounting this inside a comms cabinet the it, to put screws in you've got to drill through screw uh, the metal work um, so that's quite nice but not a lot else to say uh, about it but um, some of the general spec so it's running on a uh, arm a7 quad core uh, 717 megahertz uh, cpu it's a qualcomm ipq4019 i think and like i said earlier the actual um the poe slot there that runs uh, at uh, poe the protocol is 802.3.af um, so that will fit in i have unify stuff in the office so that will fit in for me for testing uh, but yeah, nice little unit, quite small in size, um, nothing too fancy about it. It's software that will be the telling, uh, the tell of this actual product. And if I uh, possibly might uh, swap over to this or, or use it in some installations that I do. So that's the actual sky key. So we'll put that to one side. Now we'll look at the access point. So this is the access point. It's the EAP1250. What do you get in the box? You get the access point itself, and turbo access point, EAP1250, one power adapter, one ceiling mount rose, or you get two in there, uh, different sizes, which I'll show you uh, when we get in there. Quick installation guide and some screws and uh, some raw plugs. Processor in this is a quad core processor, 717 megahertz turbo engine, high capacity 11AC wave two MU dash MIMO performance, uh, beam performing, now what's that? Beam forming optimizes signal reception and reliability for clients. Monitor, manage, and receive alerts with Easy Master. Now I don't know if they've got an iOS app like um, Unify do, but we'll have a look at that as well in the second video. Uh, and then monitor, manage, uh, and receive alerts with Easy Master network management. Like I said, I don't know if that's an app or if that's a program itself, but I will have a look at that on the second video. Uh, hardware specifications n400 on 2.4 gig and ac867 on 5 gigabytes air performance built-in modulation omnidirectional antenna and then obviously they've got the land ports showing the speed there at 10 100 and a thousand dc 12 volt jack i'm going to be using this poe so i'm not going to be using the jacks that's supplied in here it's 130 approximately 133 millimeters in diameter and it's about uh, 40 mil in height 37.4 but about 40 mil uh, and one of the things i'm not overly keen on this is the way the actual bracket mounts which i'll show you when i get in there but it mounts onto the back and then sets it off on the wall uh, import source you can use dc 12 volt over the included adapter which is in the box or you can use the 802.3.af um, poe uh, proprietary 48 volt power over ethernet uh, and like most of these things it's just telling you only to use one don't use both at the same time okay so let's have a look inside the box so what do you get in the box you get a optimize your hardware so a quick little flyer and this is talking about the easy master and it does show the software there it looks like it's on a tablet but it could be a windows uh, pc screen uh, and then it's showing the easy Wi-Fi planner. Now, again, it's hard not to compare these two together, um, as in the Unify and the Ingenious stuff. But this, where it's showing you the actual hotspots and stuff for your Wi-Fi analyzer, that's very similar to the Unify stuff. So it's, uh, I'm not sure which one came first. Again, hit me up in the comments below if you uh, know which one and who had this uh, sort of thing going first. Uh, but yeah, I mean, both products look very similar uh, to the Unify stuff. Um, so anyway... You can use that on the Easy Wi-Fi Planet and the Easy Master, which we'll have a look in the second video. Quick installation, guys. So it tells you how to install the access point, how to power it, um, and tells you what you get in the box. And I will show you what I mean by the brackets in a second. So this is the Wi-Fi access point. So this is the unit itself. Um, and as you can see, it looks quite nice on the top. Not maybe not as sleek as the um, comparing products, um, but it's still a nice unit, nice and white, um, which most of them are. And on the front, you've got the uh, DC jack input, you've got your Ethernet port, um, and you've got the uh, reset switch on underneath this uh, in this recess here. Uh, and then let's have a look at the brackets. 
So you get the two brackets. Now this is, let me just get rid of these and I'll show you what I mean here. Get rid of them bags. So these two brackets, so these are slightly, one slightly wider than the other. So what you can do with these is you actually mount them on a top clip and we can just get out of the way so you can see the actual clip itself and get it in the camera so you can see the clip here uh, so what it does it clips into say the the false ceilings that you can get um, with the polystyrene tails that actually clips around that uh, bracket there so you put them two clips and it just clips on and you can use them to unclip it and i suppose it's this depth so you can get your fingers in uh, in between to get to actually unclick it off so what happens is and this one also has screws in so you can screw it directly into the ceiling um, so if that was the ceiling, for example, you'd screw that on uh, and you can see it leaves a gap between the access point and the actual ceiling itself or clip it onto the rail through there. And then what happens then is this slides on the back like so and then clicks into place. Uh, and then if that was mounted on your ceiling, you would see it would leave uh, the gap it leaves. So it's not, um, it's not massively intrusive, but it's not quite as slick as the Unify ones that sit flush and they click in sideways as well. Uh, so that's maybe a negative for it. And we said that leaves plenty of room for the cables and stuff to come out. So uh, yeah, when you get two different types of bracket in the, in the box uh, and one's just basically for a, a thinner mounting piece there. So that one's uh, not quite as wide and it does explain that on the side of the box. A C mounting rail for a 916th T rail or the C mounting base for the 15 uh, 1516th T rail. Um, so just short of an inch. So, yeah, you can both brackets are in the actual package. So that's how it mounts to the actual ceiling. Uh, and that's how it powers up. Obviously, you can use the DC jack if you want and then just put your normal network cable in. But if you've got PoE like I'm going to be testing it on, I'm going to be trying it on there and having everything powered from that particular one. So that's it. That's a look at the hardware. Uh, quick overview of the specs. So, yeah, like I said earlier, the Sky Key is running a uh, ARM processor, an ARM A7, uh, and this one, uh, the actual access point, is using a quad core processor as well, 717 uh, megahertz. Uh, both running at 10 slash 100 slash 1000, so that's good. The network speed should keep up, depending on the throughput of the Wi-Fi. That is, uh, if the Wi-Fi is, uh, doesn't hold up, then then obviously the whole thing falls down. But hopefully we'll uh, on the second one, we'll have maybe a look at some throughput figures uh, for the Wi-Fi. And also we'll look at the software and see how stable it is. Um, the They do offer uh, the software and a remote cloud key login, I believe, free of charge. Um, so again, that's comparable to competing products. But yeah, and that's it. That's an overview of the Ingenious uh, EAP1250 access point and the Ingenious Skykey 1. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be alerted to any new videos I produce. If you enjoyed the video, please do hit us up with a thumbs up, or indeed, if you didn't like it, hit us down with a thumbs down. Also, please put any comments below. I always do read all the comments, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video, and thanks again for watching The Computer Lab.